Season 7, New Vision City is finally live in COD Mobile, and with that, there is a brand new battle pass with 50 tiers. You guys know every time there's a brand new battle pass in any Call of Duty, we go through all the items, review it, see if it's worth it. This year, we've got some battle passes that have been amazing in COD Mobile, and we've also got some battle passes that have been a dud. Let's start off and see the... What is... What, is, what, what do we got here? Whoa, Ground Forces? What, what is what do we get with ground forces we get this this what, what is this like a i think this is the monthly subscription uh yeah subscription ban repeat subscription cancellations within a six month period may result in a temporary okay we're not going to be viewing this might be something for a different day but uh you know they showed cool rewards this is not worth it these rewards kind of kind of suck that's not what we're reviewing today we're reviewing the season battle pass let's go ahead see what we got you guys know there's two different options for the battle pass there's like the five dollar version and then there's the twelve dollar version so uh these are the rewards you get for the battle pass bundle you get this parachute which this is a pass from me you get this katana which i could care less about the katana you get this calling card which is a pass for me you get the scarlet rider which is kind of a no for me oh wait wait this is this is a cold war calling card you get this for buying the angels and <laughs> dude i love this i love when i see cold war calling cards here so yeah that's what you get for the battle pass bonus and then uh you also get 12 additional tiers right off the bat i'm gonna do it because i want to review the switchblade for you guys as quick as possible but honestly if uh, if you don't care about getting the switchblade right away bro just just buy the basic battle pass this is not worth the extra five bucks these items are kind of mid i'm doing it just because i want to get some switchblade gameplay out for you guys and get damascus on that as quick as as possible now let's see all right got it got it tier 13 we did all the crap i got it i got it. i don't want to see those we're gonna go through this by yourself we're gonna go buy this through yourself i personally i like unique geometry weapons that's the main thing i look for in a battle pass because i like to ooh, ooh, look at that in a second i like to put camos on things all right come on come on come on i know we got the red katana we got get, give me all the stuff here the demon lust calling card all right so now let's go and see what happens tier by tier so tier one for buying the battle pass you get the moco operator which uh yeah kind of kind of kind of chill uh, i'm not a huge fan of operator skins that looks sick this okay we're gonna check you know what we'll go check right now before we even move over to the next one i want to see what camos look like on this kilo that to me is the most important thing for some of these weapons since we have this one unlocked we can take a quick little dive into the multiplayer mode okay that, that i didn't mean to go to rank doesn't matter same thing so what we're gonna do that's assault rifle all the way towards the end because the kilo is one of the newest added ars gunsmith and yeah let's see how can dude i feel feeling camos are gonna look sick on this and since now the newest update gold looks pretty good damascus looks all right that looks kind of clean that looks oh ooh, diamond looking sick but we've also got oh bro that is fire that is fire okay this kilo alone kind of makes it worth it if you like the kilo i gotta get that bro i gotta get the poly I, I gotta get the polychromatic you guys know as soon as this camo comes out we're gonna be grinding the crap out of it so if you want to see what the poly camo looks like on that let me know we grind it out right away back to the battle pass review i just wanted to check that one out real quick all right so tier and you get that just for buying the battle pass you don't gotta level up the battle pass you get that right away and you don't gotta buy the 12 dollar one you just gotta get the five dollar one so there's this you got a backpack cottontail which interesting choice we got a charm 150 cob points we got these uh we got yeah that's kind of an ugly design uh emblem yeah i really looking for the blueprints here some more cob points it's an okay skin i would never use it here we go our dude look at that the arctic 50 midnight beast that's pretty sick i love the design of these oh it's got ears on the top you know what i know you guys are gonna hate me for this but let's check out super duper quickly what camos look like on that one as well this is the last one we're gonna do this for because the rest of them we can't because the rest of them we aren't gonna have unlocked yet but we'll probably be making videos on the other ones in the battle pass as we unlock them so here we go the midnight beast this is our first arctic with unique geometry Ooh! oh you get to see the skin through the gold i'm so glad we checked that bro that is sick what about what about red sprite oh we don't have red sprite on it okay so the seasonal camo Ooh, bro that looks sharp with the poly camo but dude golden damascus kind of look fire at the end of this video i'm gonna load in game with this weapon and we'll load in game with the kilo all right 
at the end of the game we'll make one class with this one with the kilo we're gonna finish the battle pass review real quick where we go through the rest of the battle pass items but uh i feel like you guys would want me to go in game and check out at least one camo on each one of these so for this one i think we're gonna go in game with the red sprite because i think that looks freaking fantastic but here we go back to the battle pass let's see what else this battle pass has to offer so what tier was that that was tier 10 then you get some cod points you get the striker skin which this i think actually was a cold war skin right yeah this was the striker skin in cold war so this is another cold war skin making its way to cod mobile we got some cod points we got the claw which i cannot wait to use we'll probably have a video on that later today too my fate this is the, my main use special well i think maybe the akimbo one was but this one this thing was so fun to use in infinite warfare have to see how it works in cod mobile got a calling card which it's a calling card the chicom looks kind of basic some cod points we got another one of these basic skins that charm is oh ooh. i don't use charms in cod mobile but that one's a little bit creative basic sniper skin then you get the switchblade which this is free you don't gotta pay for the switchblade you don't gotta buy the battle pass we got some cop points we got some free credits we got a pretty basic looking skin super basic looking parachute we got a graffiti cod points this is basic this is basic tier 30 Ooh, m16 born to win oh dude i really want to know you know how the other one went through the i want to see if that one goes through but dude the skins this season they're not over the top, but I love these sharp angles. These sharp angles make... Oh, yeah, I, I like the sharp angles. That's the M16 born to win. All right, that's kind of basic. We got some COD points, some credits. Yeah, drone skin. Ooh, battery evil three. Okay, I'm not a big fan of operator skins, but this one's got a very unique look to it. Kind of like that. We got this. We got 300 COD points. We got a striker crimson midnight. We got a backpack. Ooh, that's for the shorty bro this almost kind of looks like a mythical this kind of looks like a mythical bro i really like i really this this might be my favorite thing in the entire battle pass that is sick i cannot wait to unlock that we will definitely have a dedicated video on that when we get that 30 cop points uh the banana don't eat it don't okay good <laughs> don't eat it don't eat it that is kind of funny though banana and they just look at it all right then we got the j35 we've got a drone yeah once again all the basic skins super basic there's that then we have the switchblade oh it's got some hanging stuff on it that's kind of cool i like i like the sharp edges we'll have to definitely make a video on that when we unlock that bad boy and then we got the blackjack elite once again pretty cool looking skin here uh, and then what else do we get? We get this. We get another skin. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. I do want to say this is one of the better battle passes. By far, what I'm most excited about is the shoddy Golden Hornet. This thing is fire. This this alone makes the battle pass worth it. This, to me, is worth the $5 cost <clears throat> of the battle pass itself. Hopefully, you get to see all the glowing, especially now that we can put seasonal camos on this, bro. This thing, is, you got a lot of camo combination. So, overall, I'm going to give this one a pass. This one's actually a very strong battle pass. Um, the final tier skin, which is usually supposed to be the best one, you know, this one's this one's just okay. It's it's it, that that switchblade skin's just okay. It's nothing to write home about. Not super overly excited about it. But the other skins you get at the beginning are pretty sick. The Midnight Beast, we're about to load in game and see how that looks. The fact that you get to see the eyes through camos is sick. And then you also get this. Like this kilo, the kilo's a strong weapon. It's one of my favorite ARs. That skin looks sick. Now with that. Let's load into game and give them a look. See how both these weapons look. If I had to rate this battle pass, probably going to give it a 7 out of 10. Worth getting, but it's not the best we've ever seen. But very, very strong for the items you get. Wait, what the heck, bro? You can see the ears so well in game. Wait, Damascus covers the... Okay, Damascus covers the inside of the scope. Let's inspect this. This looks pretty clean. Oh, you can. Dude, you can see the dragon through the camo. That is so cool, my love love when camos do that there's only a handful of camos that do that the ears kind of cool aesthetic on it all right take me out bud take me out i want to see this kilo all right now now let's check out the kilo change loadout we're gonna go to the kilo uh the k480 wait why does it why does it look so weird when we're holding it does the kilo usually look like this when you hold it in this game so without inspecting it unfortunately it doesn't look much different you do have to inspect it Ooh. Ooh, but it looks sick with the red sprite camo, bro. It really does. 
it really has a nice nice okay okay so overall this battle pass is gonna be a w and we've only checked out two skins in game so far cannot wait to unlock the other skins don't worry guys we're gonna be grinding the crap out of this season hopefully in the next few days we'll be getting the other skins and i'll show you what all the other blueprints look like in game and we'll show them off with camos dude i'm so excited because we get to show them off with a red sprite that shorty i think that shorty could look fantastic unfortunately the shorty is not um you know not a weapon i really enjoy but i'll use it if it looks good bro i don't care i'll use a weapon just because it looks good if you guys want to see any cod mobile coverage make sure to sub this channel like i said we're gonna be covering all that amazing stuff so that way you keep fully informed if you like to like our comment i appreciate you a ton we're trying to get the 25k subs on this channel by the end of the year thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next one peace